All right, here we go. Ouch. Video time. Jacob Andrew Sharp, you are just a little man who's having fun. Silly Billy time. It's time to have a Silly Billy time with your favorite Silly Billy. Hey, how are ya? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Jacob Andrew Sharp and we've got a doozy for ya. And uh, well, if if there's if this is a doozy, well then there better be f nuggets in here, okay? There better be nuggets in here. And there is. There's heaps and heaps of nuggets in this one, okay guys? What else are we expecting from Jacob Andrew Sharp? Were you expecting to not have nuggets in this video? Looks like you were wrong. Nuggets by Jacob Andrew Sharp. Come to the video, collect them, and don't share them. I don't want to see any sharing of nuggets, okay? Well, I don't need anyone bootlegging nuggets off me, okay? One person comes, watches the video, you get your nuggets, and you go. So don't share them. You got it? Now, I'm in a pissy mood because we're gonna be talking about Karens. And if you haven't witnessed Karens, congratulations, because I guess you've missed the past 10 years of being a person. It's probably the most popular term on the internet to describe white people freaking out. In layman's terms, a Karen is a pejorative term for a white woman seeming to be entitled or demanding beyond the scope of what is normal. The term also refers to memes depicting white women who use their privilege to demand their own way. Depictions also may include demanding to speak to the manager, being racist, or sporting a particular bob cut hairstyle. That is a decent description of what Karens are. Now, I don't really love the term Karen. I think it's a little sexist and a little derogatory. And I also know a lot of people named Karen and they're lovely. That being said, I do know a lot of these wackadoodle middle-aged people who think that they're the main character of their own god-awful Hallmark movie. Oh, bruh. Basically, a Karen is someone who thinks that they've been wronged and they're gonna freak out and have a temper tantrum until they get their own way. Now, I don't wanna focus just on Karens. I wanna focus on male Karens. Now, what is a male Karen? Well, it's kind of like a drunk uncle. Yeah, a drunk uncle. It's like a drunk, a drunkle. How about that? It's like a drunkle. Uh -huh. That's what we'll call it for right now. It's like your drunk uncle at Thanksgiving and he got so mad because you made one little joke about his camouflage otter box. And then they spend the rest of the Thanksgiving dinner calling you a fairy. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but that's basically what this is. That's how mad male Karens get. They get drunk at Thanksgiving mad. Male Karens are kind of like if you gave a baby Coors Light and a megaphone. They're just screaming and complaining about things that they really don't understand. Cause they're scared. They're scared. They're just scared little babies, these male Karens. They're just scared because everything's gay now. We don't know what's going on. Watching male Karens is basically like watching middle-aged men go red in the face and walk a fine line between shitting themselves and having a heart attack. Aww. It's dad core at its worst. I don't know if I agree with the term male Karen. Uh, I've also seen them go by the term Ken or Kevins. And I, I don't think that's an accurate representation of what this is. What I wanna do with this video is I wanna look at some of my favorite uh, male Karen videos and we would give them a rating and then I can get an idea of kind of what they really represent and then I want to try and rename them uh, and give them their proper identity because it's been too long where male Karens have been grouped in with Karens and I think Karens have worked hard enough to have their own representation you know we left Tyler's alone we didn't call them teen Karens or we didn't call Karens mom Tyler's we let Tyler's push their fucking fist through a wall and then come back with a monster energy drink let's give Karens their own thing. We don't need to loop men in there with them. At least Karens have some sort of like theatrics and character arcs to their tantrums. Maybe. But the bitch ass hoe Sorry. that told me to calm down. Male Karens just walk around ruining family vacations or scaring teens out of their minimum wage jobs. Like we get it guys, you have balls on the back of your truck, but that doesn't give you the right to yell at that McDonald's employee. It's gotta start with the letter D. We gotta name this group something with the letter D. Cause the majority of them are dads, right? Or at least they resemble dads. These dirty dads with their big dad D's, big dads with their dad D's, their dad dicks, their big swinging double D dad dicks. It, that's, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that, but it's true. Dad dicks are the biggest. It's unsettling. So it's, I think it's gotta start with a D, like something like a Dale or a Doug. I'm gonna put out a poll on Twitter. By the end of the video, hopefully we'll have a good idea of what Twitter thinks the Drunkles should be named. Maybe they'll just be named Drunkles. So let's dive into this mess of NASCAR t-shirts and New Balance sneakers. Noise out of the brakes, what the fuck? What's already pumped? 
up in a shit show are you running here? You saw that one? What do you think my time's worth, you fucking moron? Hey, don't fucking swear at me, okay? Listen to me. Fix my fucking, fucking car. Fucking that. Fix the fucking car. You put a 2010 muffler on a 2012 car with a model change. I fucking hate when middle-aged men just yell at someone about something that they could have done themselves. Hey man, if you know so much about cars, Fix it yourself. They literally think that they are experts on fucking everything. And then they think that they have a right to wear camo shorts and yell at someone. What the fuck? You can always tell how stressed out a dad is by how hairless his legs are. I like that he wore a hat to cover up his obvious bald head. But oops, looks like you missed a spot because your bald calves are showing. I'm going to rate this video three barbecues out of ten worn out tank tops. Fuck you. Oh, that's probably my favorite video. Like, that's classic old guy shit. Like, you're just so ready for fucking anything. Dude's on a run, and he was so prepared for anything. That tells me that that guy's never cried before in his life. That was, like, so much pent-up emotion that is built up over years of compartmentalizing parts of his life that he couldn't deal with, that when something did come at him, he went, fuck you. Uh, cause that's how that guy looks at emotion. He goes, nope. Not today. Not today. Fuck you, don't you cry. Fuck you. Okay. Let's go for a run. I'm gonna rate this video 10 coffee breaths out of 10 hot dog burps. Hey, tell me you're 35 and self-conscious without saying you're 35 and self-conscious. You, know, you know what I respect? I respect freedom. I respect freedom. Hey, first off, fuck this piece of shit, you know? There's no reason to yell at an old woman for wearing a mask and protecting herself and other people from the virus. We Maybe we should rethink freedom. I don't think there should be freedom when you're wearing an outfit like that, dude. Are you seven? Are you seven years old, man? Kinda looks like you're seven. Well, you're 35? Well, couldn't tell by the shorts. Take a breath, calm down, and get the fuck off the subway. Freedom. I'm gonna rate that video four tribal tattoos out of 10 Bass Pro Shop hats. All right, sir. What's your name? My name is Nick. Cause I got a survey right now. I got a survey on this thing. Yes, sir. Don't worry, we're calling the police too. Have a nice Where's day. my receipt? You Go should have, you never handed it to me, sir. I did. I, I did hand it to you, I don't have I mean, bro, check this out. I'll print you some paper, and there's that number right there. Boom. But I need, I need my receipt so I can do the service, so I can have the number on the front. Well, I don't know what you did with your receipt, sir. If you don't have it, there's nothing I can do. I you. gave it to you, I gave it to her. Do you have your receipt still back here? I gave it to her. Man, I never knew that someone actually filled out those surveys. I had no clue. There was people who actually read the receipt and they were like, yep, I'll log on. Yep, I'll log on. Get my free small fry for my next visit. I'll log on. Hey, hey dude, I'm sure they would have just printed another receipt for you if you didn't freak out. They would have definitely given you another receipt if you hadn't ruined the cash register. Like another thing too is that I love that dad core has come back into fashion, but what sucks is that I know that tucking in my shirt represents dudes like him who have no problem breaking a bunch of stuff and then running away to their Hyundai Elantra and trying to get out of there. Cause oops, looks like you're 40 and you didn't learn how to control your emotions. I'm gonna rate this video uh, two tucked in shirts out of 10 small black coffees. Stay in your car, dude. You dropped your glasses. Stay in your car.
I will say, this guy is really risking it all. He got out of his truck and he left his glasses that he dropped on the ground. The two things that are essential to being a middle-aged man. Glasses and a truck that you think shows off how big your horn is. This guy for sure yells at Little League. Nobody touched his truck! Nobody touched your truck! Nobody touched you! Nobody touched you! Get back in your fucking car! Nobody touched you! He's claiming that someone touched his truck uh, during this Black Lives Matter protest, but then you can see that he's wearing an All Lives Matter t-shirt, and I think that he wasn't that upset about the truck. I think that maybe, just maybe, stick with me here, that he might just be a racist piece of shit? <laughs> Maybe that's why he pulled a baseball bat out on a group of protesters? You guys touched my truck, so now I'm gonna kill you. I don't really like this video because I hate people like this. I'm gonna rate this one forehead vein out of 10 Ford F-150s. And you're supposed to be an adult too. Don't bring it, bring it, then I'll be calling the cops. Making noise is good. Is making noise good? Is that is that disturbing the peace? Stealing my sign is not Who's good. Stealing Him sign? flipping me off on my way home, she did. You're honking your horn, you got a thing, you're ridiculous, dude. I don't give a shit. This election is more important than you realize. So maybe this guy walks more of the Tyler line, just because he looks like the kind of guy who would name a bong. Because that's ridiculous. I don't care what's ridiculous. This election is ridiculous that a Democrat with dementia is running. And you got that information from who? Anyways, best of luck to you. How ignorant do you have to be to have a megaphone? You can't just be on a megaphone and then get in your car. You can't just say a bunch of stuff uh, about the election and about your political views. And then when someone challenges you, you go, Hey, get out of your Dodge Durango and apologize to everyone for screaming into a megaphone. Also, that's awesome that you obviously play rhythm guitar, but maybe shut up. If you think you can take this property and do what you want with it, I'll take your property and do what I want with it. You won't, that's not You can't support. touch a minor. Yeah. yeah Are the rules fucking, fucking with your head, charges, bro? Dude. Oh, you're fucking such a bunch of pussies. Bro, what the, a generation of pussies. Are the steroids <laughs> fucking with your fucking brain? You're a bunch of pussies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your skateboard. Give me your skateboard. I want to do whatever I want with it because That's, I can just do what I want with other people's thing. property. This is not the same thing. It not is the same end. thing. It you is. Now. This is why you're fucking. Imagine yelling at someone in thong flip flops. You look like you're going to the beach in 2005. Why are you yelling at kids? Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fight them? Are you gonna fight these teens? Cause that's not gonna end well for you. You know, it'll be way more embarrassing when you get arrested in thong flip flops. Sure, you're mad in thong flip flops, but when someone reads you your rights in thong flip flops, uh-oh, looks like you lost. The dumbest generation of fucking morons I've ever fucked skateboard. Ride your skateboard. Ooh, ooh, ooh! What are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? He just kissed me, bro. What are you gonna do? What sucks is that these kids are doing like a really good job of getting him even more mad because he just went in uh, and he didn't flinch. And now it does look like they kissed. And now he just looks like a grown man who tried to kiss kids in thong flip-flops, which might as well be a different crime. All right, so now we're gonna move on to my, uh, I think my three favorite drunkle videos. This video is like uh, uh, quite a few years old, but uh, it's happening in Toronto where I live. Like I can see people inside and I really like to think that this is just a push don't pull type of situation. I love thinking about that someone's just like, you have to push. If, it, if that's the case, this is a sad video because this poor man just can't figure out how the door works. This goes on for a while and then, It's just 
just a spectacle to you. It's just a spectacle to you. It's just funny. <laughs> Let the police cut off my balls. I don't mind because it's the cops and they're always right. Right? You That's wanna go good. shopping? Mm. You don't give a shit, do you? Not really. Not really. Then why don't you go fuck off with your camera and stop stop film I'm saying I'm not giving you permission to film me. Alright? You public don't have place. permission. Huh? But you're in a public No place. no, it's closed. It's no, closed. This is actually a privately held uh Oh really? Company. You're gonna explain it to me? Well tell me why they're closed. I don't know. Cadillac Fairview doesn't want you in. Oh Cadillac Fairview doesn't want me in? That's why they closed the whole place? Well, apparently. Are you nuts? Are you crazy? I just walked over here for Christ's sake. <laughs> Are you nuts? I just walked over here for Christ's sake. Well, that's a lot to unpack. I think we should start with the police arresting him and cutting his balls off. Looks like this guy doesn't really know how the police work. Now, I've never been arrested, but I can guess that they're not gonna cut my balls off as soon as they arrest me. If if that actually was the case, and they're like, you have the real right to remain silent, anything that you say, and, uh, say will be used against you in court. Now, we do have the right to grab Grab your balls, grab a knife, and <laughs> cut them off. So prepare yourself. Prepare to lose your balls. This guy's ruined mustaches for me. I never knew that they made a sequel to Confessions of a Shopaholic. I would love to see this sequel. Ilsa Fisher in Confessions of a Shopaholic 2. Please don't cut my balls off if you arrest me. I'm gonna rate this nine cell phone holders out of ten farts in church. <laughs> How's that? How's that? How's that? Fuck Why you where you breathe. Me, okay? Why are you don't tell me, me what the fuck to do. How's that, pal? I didn't tell you what you to did. You did. You said don't talk to people who you don't know. I'll talk to whoever the fuck I want to know. Never mind. How's that, pal? Never mind. I did tell him not to talk to That's you. right. So use your fucking head if you know how. Understood. Okay, you little pimply little shit. Hey, you guys. Uh, if you guys cannot do this in the store. That sounds good to me. Put something to leave. Uh, I'm checking out, sir. Yeah, Check out. Ahead, ring out. If you guys, if you could take okay. this, six You're not feet. that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Okay. Are you? Absolutely. You're gonna get arrested for this? Arrested for doing what? Just like a pimple on the left. Somebody says something and you don't like it. And you don't like it, right? Is that what it is? You little pimp. Can you hold the camera while I check? I'll leave the store. Okay, first off, tries to make a pimple joke and then calls him a pimp. You shot your shot and you missed. This is one of the best videos on the internet. I'm sure everyone has seen this before already. You're not that guy, pal. That guy is everything that represents middle aged men. Like, that guy is so angry and red in the face, he's gonna bust out of that Henley. Oh, yeah. Take a breath and calm down because that Henley is about to explode. I also don't know how a man could be all neck. That man is all neck, no chin. And that's how mad he is. It's like grown men get this self-defense thing like bullfrogs where they're just... You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. No. And that's, and that's some science by Jacob Andrew Sharp. Middle-aged men with anger problems are exactly like bullfrogs. I'm gonna rate that video seven wiry mustaches out of 10 New Balance sneakers. Okay, now let's move on to, to my favorite, my all-time favorite drunkle video. My all-time favorite pissed off dad video. This is the creme de la creme. I want to shake his hand. 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 Pull me off the fucking plate. I want to shake his hand. That's all I want to do. I all I want to do. You stupid. Dude, like this video is the best. Also, I turned my AC off while filming this and now I'm sweating just the same as this guy is. I'm as sweaty as an old dad. Obviously, there's an altercation on a plane and this guy, the most aggressive thing to do. I wanna shake your hand. I wanna shake your hand. Obviously, he doesn't wanna shake his hand because he wants to meet the guy. He wants to shake his hand and prove how masculine he is by shaking it too hard and then probably trying to punch him in the face. And this is where the video starts to get kind of sad. Like, his daughter is 
bawling her eyes out. She's begging her dad, please stop yelling, dad. I just want to go on vacation. Also, if you, I don't know if you guys noticed, but a few frames ago, his wife comes up to him and like kind of knocks him in the chin being like, smarten the fuck up. You just ruined our trip. You just ruined our trip to fucking Cancun or wherever the fuck we're going. And now you watch him go, okay, 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 okay I'm sorry. He finally clues in that, oh, this isn't okay. I wish that grown men would think before they act. But I guess that's grown men for us, huh, guys? You watch him in real time see the consequences of his actions. That sucks because now they can't go on their trip. And I bet this guy gave a half-ass apology to his fucking wife. If he's that mad and wearing that purple of a shirt, I can guarantee he doesn't give that good of an apology. But does he learn his lesson? Let's watch. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. I'm not an idiot. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Man, even after watching his daughter bawl her eyes out in fear of the anger of her own dad, he couldn't even slow it down for like two seconds because right away he goes i'm not a fucking idiot you're a fucking idiot he couldn't control himself this just makes me feel a little embarrassed as a man this feels like the worst parody of snakes on a plane ever i'm sick of not shaking your motherfucking hand on this motherfucking plane starring sam jackson i want to shake your motherfucking hand as much as this video upsets me it's still 10 out of 10 in the world of drunkles i'll rate this 10 croc flip-flops out of 10 receipts hairlines. All of these drunkles, all of these male Karens, they're all pieces of shit. I feel kind of weird watching these videos because I'm just watching the, the part of the, of the of the human race that I identify with and I'm watching everything that I, I, I see wrong with being a man. This upsets me. And as, as men, I really think that we can do better, especially men like this. Like just calm down and shut up. This is the epitome of male fragility. If I'm gonna share this identity with you, I'm gonna ask you to be better. Maybe, just maybe, now stick with me here, if you don't understand a community or if you don't understand a group of people, maybe instead of getting mad at them, you should just shut up and listen. Maybe if you wanna criticize a generation, maybe you should look back on your generation and what you were like as a young person. And maybe you should be a little more empathetic to other groups of people and to what other people are doing. And maybe you should try to see yourself in their shoes and in their situation and then maybe Maybe you'd be able to sympathize with them and you won't get so upset. We also have to do a way better job with men's shorts. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm absolutely fed up. I'm sick of watching men wear shorts below their knees. You look like a kid. Hey, men, dress better and be better. I know you have good legs because you've been walking around with the weight of the fear of disappointing your father for your entire life and wow, it sculpted them perfectly. So show them off. Show off those beautiful gams of yours because I know you got them. Men's legs shaped by the fear of our fathers. I just checked Twitter. It looks like we have a winner. Thanks to Twitter and thanks to everyone working at Science by Jacob Andrew Sharp. And the answer is, drum roll please. The male Karens will now be named Dougs. Doug is the name for these piece of shit motherfuckers who think that NASCAR is a personality. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my channel guarantees you a lifetime supply of nuggets. What are nuggets? Well, just shut up. Quit asking me. It is not, it's none of your business, okay? Also, don't forget to check out my podcast, the Mr. Friendship Podcast. All right, I'm gonna go get arrested by the cops and hope they don't chop off my balls. Okay, bye. I'm gonna rate this YouTube video 10 painted fingernails out of 10 really cool earrings.